Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, for everyone who at least follows us fairly well, given that usually I stay confined to review bra land, you may be scratching your head, you may be puzzled, you may be shaking with pure elation, and you may be wondering, you know, how how is this review bra even here reviewing in and out Burger? Wow, that's incredible. Well, we'll just say, we'll just, we'll just say, I'm just enjoying my Powerball winnings, because we could all dream at least. So we'll say that. In the end, though, what matters is the review itself and the product that we're reviewing. And that, of course, as I reiterate, as you can see right here on the burger, says in, in, out. Not to say in and out burger, but I guess it's in, dash, n, dash, out. So, they're really known for a few things on the menu. And I really wanted to try one of their more iconic items, which is their double, double. Okay, it's a double, double. For those of us on uh, on the East Coast who may not know what a double, double is, what it is, it's two patties, thus called a double, with two, I believe, two slices of cheese, thus another double, and that equates to two doubles, or double, double. So people have said a lot of great things about it in that burger. They, uh, have, you know, really just sent me tons of requests over the years to review it and uh, finally I have the pleasure of being able to say we can do it. So here's the burger again the double double and I'm just gonna start eating away with the bag here and uh, I'll let you know how it tastes so the double double from in and out burger let's make sure the little wrapping paper for our convenience isn't consumed. All right let's try it out and uh, I'll tell you how it tastes a double double from in and out burger going in. If you heard that and you're wondering what it was, it was uh, just a loud car going by. Okay, just want to get a bite of this tomato here, of everything else, and then, uh, then I think that'll be that, and we'll, we'll be able to tell you what it tastes like. Yeah, one more bite. I'm gonna wash it down with a little bit of this. This is their uh, vanilla milkshake. Which, should I say, does have a good consistency to it. Okay, so finally, the glorious moment which we're able to, to finally try in and out Burger. As you can see clearly, it wasn't really a, a bust just from from reactions. You know, it wasn't wasn't anything to be utterly disgusted with. Absolutely not. So here's what it tastes like. Okay. Now on the burger itself, you get your two patties, your two slices of cheese, the uh, you get the bun, you get some tomatoes, some lettuce, and you get the spread of this uh, you know, this sauce that's on it. So here's what you can really notice from the burger. First, from the bite, really there's nothing chewy about it. Um, in terms of just consuming it, no elements itself are chewy. It's very easy to eat. Um, the burger itself, while not a massive burger, it's not a massive beef patty, at the same time, it's not a low-quality patty either. Um, you know, the meat itself is, is very easy to consume. It really does have almost a melt-in-your-mouth type texture. You're able to just bite in and, you know, with no, no issues in that regard. Um, the meat itself is juicy. Um, perhaps even a little bit of a, a saltiness mixed in there, but it's not a strong, you know, saltiness that requires any, any excess consumption of water. Um, the interesting thing also is the spread that they use. Um, it is good to probably use the wrapping, too, to be able to eat that. We were able to keep it confined, but always a good thing to have, because it could get a little, you know, messy at times. Likewise, though, the spread itself to the whole burger, you know, you're able to get the cheese, um, you know, the beef, um, the tomatoes itself are pretty rich. Um, as for the lettuce, you know, not too, not too much of that on, but, you know, it doesn't really, kind of like one of those things that's just there for decorative purposes, you know. But the good thing with the spread, I think that's one of the things that really does make the sandwich, aside from the quality itself of the beef, 
is that the spread itself adds almost this tanginess to the sandwich. It adds this tanginess and it's able to really tie everything together. And you could say, yeah, well, that stupid sauce from the Big Mac does the same thing. But, I mean, we all know that's pretty much a Thousand Island dressing put on, you know, and that's all there is to it. And it's a completely different sandwich, completely different quality of the product, so that really, you know, you can't really compare the two at all. Um, so the spread and the little tangness that it does add, I think really does tie everything together well. Um, again, it's intended to be eaten, eaten in the little, you know, containment wrap, you could call it. So, really, for messiness, they kind of set you up. That's nothing to really complain about there. Let's see what else. As for the bun, um, you know, just standard, um, not flaky or anything, nothing that's falling apart, you're able to get a good grip on everything with it, so that's no drawbacks there. And again, I really do have to admire the quality of the beef that they use. Thin patties, but again, good quality meat, and that's something that really should be admired. Another admirable thing for this establishment is simply the price. Um, the double-double, which I got, was simply $3.70. Which, for such a good quality sandwich, um, you're getting two patties at that. I think that is a great price for it. So I really do think that is uh, that is really another good thing. Just about this this place in general, even. I'm just going to take a bite or two out of the fries, since we got them here. And the fries themselves are pretty good too. They're pretty, uh, you know, they're greasy. A little bit of a, a crunch to them, but not. It's not like they're. They got a good consistency to them. It's not like they're drooping. It's not like they're overdone. Um, good thickness to them. Good consistency. Salted pretty well too. And uh, again, you could note that they are a bit greasier at that. But overall, just given the whole price of it all, you know, I mean, three dollars and seventy cents for this burger. It's a great burger. I recommend it. And uh, I think it doesn't really beat that at all, you know, especially such quality for such a low price. You know, I wish, I wish these places were, were found in Review Bra Land, but uh, since I was able to get my hands on it, I'm really, you know, enjoying it thoroughly. So out of 10, what am I going to be rating this burger, the Double Double, from in and out Out of 10, I'm going to be giving this a 9.2 out of 10. Um, definitely a, a ways above average, just because it's a great sandwich, great price, great meal. And uh, really, out of all the, the fast food burger places, I'd say is a, a great burger. Um, definitely on the same level as, as Five Guys. And uh, really, I think it's just a great sandwich, and I think it completely deserves the rating that it got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you this time around. This is Running an Empty Food Review. I'm your host, Report of the Week. And today we went to In N Out Burger, trying their double double. Also tried their fries and took a few sips of a, of a vanilla shake. That's all I got for you again. We'll see you next time. Take care.